Hey folks, Michael McGee here. Today we've got a big tree on the fence back here on the back side of the pig pasture. We've got to get it cut. This is the pig pasture that we sowed. Aftermath, get over here. Come on. You ain't supposed to be over there. Pan around there. Now he's on our property. He's on the wrong side of the gate down there. We're learning Great Pyrenees like to wander quite a bit, but he does good about coming back now, so that's good. We're letting him out more and more. Anyway, we planted this back in the very end of April, the last month with the letter R in it. If you remember right, I was wondering if it was even going to work. They come up real good. A lot of big weeds are mixed with it, but that is good because it helps shade some of that clover and that wheat that doesn't like this intense heat. So let's get in here and cut this tree, and I'm going to show you some of my clover that's in here. We've got a pig in here now. And I got two more that I want to move over here. Two more pulls and it'll be started. Poison ivy been growing all up these trees. Almost all trees in Tennessee have poison ivy on them. But anyway, uh, we got that cut. This here is still hanging back there, so it's not got very much pressure on the fence right here. So I'm not too worried about that. I just wanted to get all this excess weight off before it smashed it down. We, as you see, we have roofing metal lining this fence. This was just a barbed wire. It would never hold them. But if a pig can't see through, they will not go through. You could almost keep them with cardboard in if, of course, it didn't rot or anything. But if they can't see through it, they won't test it. Right down through the edge of this field, we have a strip of woods about 30 feet. And on the other side, on the outside, you'll see over here, it's thick woods, big woods over here. So when the sun goes that way, just about all day, they have some shade in here, which is really important on these hot days. These pigs are from Hungary. They're used to colder weather. It's nice to have them a place in the cool. All right, go with me out here in the pasture and we'll look at the different things we planted that is growing even though it's hot. Right here is something that you can clearly see is crimson clover. You can tell it's not flourishing like it does in the cool weather, but it's there and it's even got a flower on it, which I think is pretty amazing. It's not much to it, but the pig can eat it if it wants to eat it. And I see quite a bit of it in through here with wheat that we planted. So I'll show you some more right here. All of this right here is clover. It's standing up on a stem, really unusual. Now this isn't, this is something native that I don't know if they even eat, but a lot of this is clover, like everything in my hand here, all that, it's clover. So I'm excited about that. Let's go find some wheat and I'll show you. Okay, I haven't taken hardly any steps at all, and here it is. Nice green, good fodder. If they want to eat it, we'll see. We'll see if they eat it. If they don't, that's fine. It's good for the ground, but well, let's just see. It tastes like the wheat grass I'm used to chewing, not quite as sweet. It, it don't like hot weather either, but it's here. It's in, in pretty good amount. See, look at this clover. Clover, wheat. That's clover and wheat, and it's thick down through here. I would say there's probably three-fourths of an acre to an acre of it. So we're gonna have three female pigs in here, all pregnant. And hopefully, they'll do really good out here. That's what we're hoping. The pigs we raise are mangalitsas. I'm sure if you've been following this channel long at all, you know that. The weeds that are in here are over my head, a lot of them. That's not a bad thing. It, we're not trying to grow like corn in here or anything. 
having some weeds in here adds a little shade that helps cool the area down. Hey, there's a pig bed here. Now, this will show you what the weeds will do. I'm gonna show you this pig bed. It has shade on it. That shade is from the weeds. You don't want to go and mow your pig pastures down, make them all pretty. Shade is pretty to a pig. So, you see these other three here. This is a mama that had babies before. This, these two here have never had babies before. Once I know for sure that they're pregnant, I'm gonna move them down with, with the one that you've seen down the hill. But I don't wanna do that until I know they're pregnant because the boar's in here. I don't want him to be in there. So we'll see how it goes. I'll keep you updated. But for now, that's all I've got for you. We appreciate you. Hope you have a great day. We'll see you on the next video.